Hair Seniors Association. I'm going to give it another try and uh, do a chair yoga video uh, for you today. So let's start by finding our seat. Um, we can use just a normal kitchen chair. We want something that's sturdy, so I'm just using my dining room chair. As I sit down in it, what I want to check is the uh, distance between my knees and my feet, and if I am finding space where I can kind of swing my legs, you're going to want to grab yoga blocks if you have them, or as well just grabbing some books that will fill that space, and we're going to place them underneath the feet. Once we have a nice stable base through our feet, let's lift up the heel, lift the toes up, and then place the foot back down, finding those three points of contact underneath the big toe, the little toe, and the heel, making our legs nice and active even though we're sitting. Then we're going to find those sits bones, so moving those fleshy bits away, you want to find those two protruding bones in your buttocks and wiggle down into them so you're feeling nice and strong. And then we're going to roll the shoulders back, let the elbows get nice and heavy so that we feel the shoulder blades coming in towards the spine. We're going to sit up nice and tall. And then noticing where our head is, if we've got our chin forward, feeling a bit of strain in the back, or if our head kind of falls back, we want to pull the chin down just a little bit, lengthening through the neck, lifting up through the back of the ears. And then we want to come to our breath. So let's gather that breath and calm our space. Breathing in through the nose and out. In through the nose, exhaling through the nostrils, and begin to come into that space. Let's breathe into our hands, we're placing our hand down onto our belly so that we're taking a full breath, breathing in. Imagine your belly is like a balloon and as you breathe in, you're filling the balloon up. And as you exhale, pressing that breath out, deflating the balloon. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Continuing on in that breath, let's take a deeper look at that breath. And maybe as we breathe in, we count, breathing in for a count of four, and exhaling for a count of four. Inhale, and exhale. Now let's add a wee bit of movement as we begin to join our, to uh, warm up all of our joints. And let's just start by tipping our ear to your right. Inhaling to the center. Exhaling to the left. Inhale to the top. Exhale. One more on each side. Coming back to the center. Let's tip the head forward just a wee bit, and we're going to draw a smile with our nose. So taking it over to the right and lolling it over to the left. Again, adding that breath in, inhaling. And exhaling. One more time. Each side. Coming back to the right, let's bring our head back to the center. And then we're gently going to look into our blind side. So inhale and 
and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And then bring our hands back to center. Let's drop those arms down, rotating our wrists forward. And backwards. And then lifting it up into our elbows, making our hands nice and flat. We're going to open it up, press the shoulder blades together, drop it down. Let's take it into a figure four now. We're going to get into those hips. We're going to take that leg across the knee. We're sitting up nice and tall again. Find your seat. We're going to press down gently on that knee so that we can get a nice line here as best you can. You want to feel it in the hip area here. We don't want a lot of pain, but you do want to feel a bit of a stretch. Once you're here, we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're not pressing down. We're just laying our hands lightly. We're breathing in, sitting up nice and tall. And as we exhale, we're going to take it forward into that forward fold again, feeling it right into the hips now. Inhaling tall, nice and long through the spine and exhale. Breathing in and exhale. Inhale tall, release that leg down to the floor, and let's take it to the other side. Again, take the time to place the ankle on the leg where it feels good and you can feel it in the hip. Once you've landed, we're going to sit up nice and tall again, and we're going to breathe in, lengthening the spine, and then as we exhale, we're hinging at the hips, keeping the chest, shining your heart out as we come forward. Breathing in and out. Holding that space, or if you're creating some space with that breath, maybe moving into it. Nice. Inhaling tall. Let's release that foot down to the floor. We're going to go into a lunge now. We're going to use the chair. So we're going to rotate on our chair so that we can support ourselves with the back of the chair. We can place our hands between our thighs on the front of the chair. And then we're going to drop that knee down. Again, using your block if you need to. We want to create a nice long line from the knee all the way up to the shoulder. And maybe this is enough for you today. If you'd like to though, I invite you to come up on your toe, pressing the leg back. We're going to get a nice stretch through the thigh here. Pressing into the heel, keeping the chest nice and high, and then dropping the knee down. Coming back to the center, we're going to take it to the other side now. Placing your hand on the back of the chair, placing your other hand between your thighs, we're going to take the knee straight down. So we're going to be straddling the chair, dropping that knee onto the block. We've got a nice, beautiful lunge started here. And then if it feels right, we can lengthen through the back and come onto the toes. So we've got a nice long back happening here. So it looks like that on the floor. You may even be able to press up through that front foot so you come off of the chair, coming into our lunge. And then releasing down, let's sit back on the chair, bring the knees together. We're going to row to the front, rotate to the front. And we're going to take that same action now to the side of the chair. 
So letting the hip come off, we're gonna take that leg back, coming into our warrior. So again, using the chair if you need that support, or just having that chair available to you should you need that, you've got that to balance on. And then we're gonna take our hands up. Pressing into that back heel. Breathing in, reaching through the fingers and dropping the shoulders. One more breath here. And as we exhale, allow those hands to come down. Find our seat. Bring those legs together. And let's take it to the other side. So dropping that right leg off the chair. Find your feet. Find that base of support. And then as we press down through that leg, either holding your chair or lifting up off the chair, so you're independent, but you still have the stability of the chair right there, press into that back leg. And then when you're ready, gathering your belly, we're gonna breathe in and take our hands up. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, keeping it strong through the legs, tight through the belly. And exhale, let's bring those hands down. Holding onto the chair, let's bring those legs back together. Coming to the center of our chair. Let's come into our twist. Again, drawing those blocks back if you need that extra distance lift from the floor to your feet. Finding our seat, so finding your sits bones. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's bring our hands to our chest in Anjali Mudra so that we can keep ourselves accountable in this twist. It's easy enough to twist through the shoulders, but that's not doing anything to this lower spine, and that's where we really want to target with our twist. We really want to wring the whole spine out, nourish our spinal column. So bringing those hands together, dropping the shoulders back and down, I want you to breathe in and I want you to gather your belly muscles. Make them nice and strong. Imagine that if I was going to pop you in the belly that you would have that instant clenching and that's what we're looking for here as we gather our belly muscles. Once you've gotten nice and strong, we're gonna initiate the movement from here first. So it's gonna kind of move here to here to here and the hands will be kind of the last thing that move. But we wanna keep your hands kind of in line with your nose. So breathing in, utilizing those muscles in the belly, we're gonna rotate. Inhale nice and tall. And as we exhale, maybe going a little deeper. Inhale nice and tall again. And then finally adding your neck, looking into your blind spot. Breathing nice and tall. And as we exhale, we're gonna follow the path out of this. So we're gonna let our head come back to our hands. Our hands are gonna to start to rotate back to the center. Beautiful, let's do that on the other side now. So breathing in nice and tall, rotating to the left. We're gonna initiate the movement from our belly first. Then our rib cage. And then finally, inhaling tall, Exhale and let the neck look into your blind spot. Breathing in, lifting, lengthening that back, spinal column, and then exhale, the head comes back, the shoulders come back, and the belly. Let's do that one more time on the right hand side, breathing in nice and tall, and exhale. Inhale tall, Allow the shoulders to move. Again, another beautiful inhale up. And as you exhale, moving into that space, looking back into your blind spot. A lovely inhale. And as we exhale, allow the head to come back, the shoulders to come back, and finally the belly comes back. Relax and feel that. Let's take it to the other side. Breathing in, lift. 
activate the twist from the belly first. Inhale again high. Exhale, allow the ribs to rotate around the spine. Inhale. And finally, allow the neck to rotate, allowing you to look into your blind spot. Inhale. And as you exhale, following that path, let's come back to our center. Wonderful. Let's bring it down. I'm going to stop here so that you have done your practice, but then you can work on your Shavasana because I feel that there's, especially in these times of isolation, that just being able to, to do a Shavasana at any time is, has some real value and you don't need to do your whole practice. You can just jump into the Shavasana. So stay tuned, click on to the next file so that you can follow up your practice with Shavasana. That will give you time to uh, get your blanket. Um, choose the pose, whether or not you'd like to lay down on the floor or sit in your chair, um, but get all those props that support your arms if that's what you need. Uh, definitely cover up um, a little weight on the legs. It's nice for grounding and covering your eyes is actually quite a lovely practice as well. So stay tuned and we will start our Shavasana in just a moment. Thank you for joining me with practice, or maybe you're just joining me now for a short Shavasana, you're feeling a little tense. So to do our Shavasana, let's start by again finding our seat. And if that seat is in your chair, you want to make sure that your back is well supported with the back of the chair. So wiggle your buttocks back, find your sits bones, so that you're able to stack your spine, so your shoulders are directly over top of your hips. And then noticing where your head is, if it's falling forward, we want to pull it back with just a little lift at the back of the jaw so that we're taking the, the weight of the, of the skull on the spine. Again, if you need to lift your feet so that your feet are feeling supported, you're not holding them on the chair, some blocks or books are a really good choice. And then I invite you to grab a blanket or a shawl, place it over your knees, or if you need a little warmth, put it up around your shoulders. We're going to roll the shoulders back and down, let the elbows get heavy, and then we're going to place our hands on our lap. Now, if you're feeling like you need to be grounded, feeling a little frazzled, palms down is a great way to feel grounded. Or if you're feeling that you need to open your heart, you can rotate your hands into an accepting um, pose. And your body will guide you uh, any day. Um, some days having your hands up feels natural and some days it doesn't. For me today, I think I'm feeling a need to be grounded. So my hands are going to face my palms, my palms are going to face my thighs. So let's just begin with a nice gentle breath, breathing in and out, finding your own rhythm, perhaps naming the breath, inhale and exhale so that you can calm your mind move away from your to-do lists, move away from the news, and as you inhale, perhaps finding a pause at the top of the breath, and then exhale, inhale, pause, and exhale. Inhale. Pause. And exhale. Maybe it feels right to add a pause at the bottom of the breath as well. So inhaling. Pause. Exhale and pause. Finding that pattern that works best for you. And I invite you to notice the stillness that you find in that pause at the top and the bottom of your breath. Take a moment, be curious, sit in that silence, in that stillness, enjoy it.
So we're going to start focusing with our feet. I want you to feel grounded in your feet if you're sitting and if you're laying down. I want you to relax. Relax the arch of your foot. Releasing your toes, your ankles. Softening the back of the legs your calves, your hamstrings, releasing the front of the legs along your quadriceps, your thighs, and any tension around the knees. Bringing your tension into your pelvis, your hips, taking a breath and softening through the belly Releasing the lower back, breathing into your chest. Let's take the breath wide, breathing wide, creating space out towards your arms with your rib cage. And with your next breath, inhale into your back body, into the back of your heart. Feel the resistance into the floor, the back of your chair. And take your next breath into the front of your heart. Feel it expanding, creating, filling it with energy. Now let's bring your attention into your shoulders, allowing them to soften, to let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Releasing your biceps and your triceps your forearms, releasing any tension that you're holding in your elbows, your wrists, and allowing your hands to relax, letting the fingers curl naturally towards the palm, breathing in, finding the space and stillness in the pause, and exhaling. Now bringing our attention into our neck, swallowing and allowing the neck to relax. Letting the jaw relax by creating space between the back teeth. And perhaps releasing the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Softening the muscles around your eyes and across your brow. Allowing your eyes to get heavy. And bringing your focus to the space between your eyebrows, known as the third eye. I want you to imagine a light there, a bright, beautiful white light. And then I want you to imagine that light melting finally rolling down your face, along your neck, over your shoulders and down your arms to the tips of your fingers, following your spine down through your torso into your hips, and separating, following each leg through the thigh, the knee, the calves, your ankles, and then dripping at your toes. We're gonna stay here as long as you like. Breathing in and out. Focusing on the inhale and the exhale. And should any thoughts keep into your brain, I want you to imagine that they're like clouds in a bright blue sky. I want you to smile at the beautiful white and then watch it as it drifts away. Don't engage in the thought. Notice it, name it, and let it float away. Coming back to your breath and letting your breath tether you in this moment. Breathe. 
in stillness as you inhale and exhale. Knowing that you can come out of your Shavasana at any time and extend it as long as you'd like, I invite you to choose for yourself. When it is time, I want you to gently begin to bring movement into your fingers and your toes, into your wrists and your ankles. And when it feels right, to gently open your eyes. Bring your hands together at heart center. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Namaste. So thank you for joining me with practice, or maybe you're just joining me now for a short Shavasana, you're feeling a little tense. So to do our Shavasana, let's start by again finding our seat. And if that seat is in your chair, you want to make sure that your back is well supported with the back of the chair. So wiggle your buttocks back, find your sits bones, so that you're able to stack your spine, so your shoulders are directly over top of your hips. And then noticing where your head is, if it's falling forward, we want to pull it back with just a little lift at the back of the jaw so that we're taking the, the weight of the, of the skull on the spine. Again, if you need to lift your feet so that your feet are feeling supported, you're not holding them on the chair, some blocks or books are a really good choice. And then I invite you to grab a blanket or a shawl, place it over your knees, or if you need a little warmth, put it up around your shoulders. We're going to roll the shoulders back and down, let the elbows get heavy. And then we're going to place our hands on our lap. Now, if you're feeling like you need to be grounded, feeling a little frazzled, palms down is a great way to feel grounded. Or if you're feeling that you need to open your heart, you can rotate your hands into an accepting um, pose. And your body will guide you uh, any day. Um, some days having your hands up feels natural and some days it doesn't. For me today, I think I'm feeling a need to be grounded. So my hands are going to face my palms, my palms are going to face my thighs. So let's just begin with a nice gentle breath, breathing in and out, finding your own rhythm, perhaps naming the breath, inhale and exhale so that you can calm your mind move away from your to-do lists, move away from the news, and as you inhale, perhaps finding a pause at the top of the breath, and then exhale, inhale, pause, and exhale. Inhale. Pause. And exhale. Maybe it feels right to add a pause at the bottom of the breath as well. So inhaling. Pause. Exhale and pause. Finding that pattern that works best for you. And I invite you to notice the stillness that you find in that pause at the top and the bottom of your breath. Take a moment, be curious, sit in that silence, in that stillness, enjoy it. So we're going to start focusing with our feet. I want you to feel grounded in your feet if you're sitting and if you're laying down, I want you to relax. 
relax the arch of your foot, releasing your toes, your ankles. Softening the back of the legs, your calves, your hamstrings. Releasing the front of the legs along your quadriceps, your thighs, and any tension around the knees. Bringing your tension into your pelvis, your hips taking a breath and softening through the belly, releasing the lower back, breathing into your chest. Let's take the breath wide, breathing wide, creating space out towards your arms with your rib cage. And with your next breath, inhale into your back body, into the back of your heart. Feel the resistance into the floor, the back of your chair. And take your next breath into the front of your heart. Feel it expanding, creating, filling it with energy. Now let's bring your attention into your shoulders, allowing them to soften, to let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Releasing your biceps and your triceps your forearms, releasing any tension that you're holding in your elbows, your wrists, and allowing your hands to relax, letting the fingers curl naturally towards the palm, breathing in, finding the space and stillness in the pause, and exhaling. Now bringing our attention into our neck, swallowing and allowing the neck to relax. Letting the jaw relax by creating space between the back teeth. And perhaps releasing the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Softening the muscles around your eyes and across your brow. Allowing your eyes to get heavy. And bringing your focus to the space between your eyebrows, known as the third eye. I want you to imagine a light there, a bright, beautiful white light. And then I want you to imagine that light melting falling and rolling down your face, along your neck, over your shoulders and down your arms to the tips of your fingers, following your spine down through your torso into your hips, and separating, following each leg through the thigh, the knee, the calves, your ankles, and then dripping at your toes. We're gonna stay here as long as you like, breathing in and out, focusing on the inhale and the exhale. And should any thoughts keep into your brain, I want you to imagine that they're like clouds in a bright blue sky. I want you to smile at the beautiful white and then watch it as it drifts away. Don't engage in the thought. Notice it, name it, and let it float away. Coming back to your breath and letting your breath tether you in this moment in this stillness as you inhale and exhale.
thing that you can come out of your Shavasana at any time and extend it as long as you'd like, I invite you to choose for yourself. When it is time, I want you to gently begin to bring movement into your fingers and your toes, into your wrists and your ankles. And when it feels right, to gently open your eyes. Bring your hands together at heart center. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Namaste. Namaste.